Okay, good morning, everyone. I'm gonna give you guys a quick stock market update this morning on a couple charts that I've been following recently. I've been covering these stocks as trade setups in the last, you know, probably a week or so, maybe a little bit longer. Uh, and I wanna cover, go through those. So guys, as I get going, drop me a thumbs up. And if you're new and you're interested in learning this as a skill set, I continue to harp on it, take my course, okay? That's there for your benefit. <clears throat> And its link is in the description below. It's going to give you the it's going to give you the set of skills that's going to help you uh, find stocks and and then mitigate risk. Okay, so all these all these setups, all these trade ideas that I point out are all based on the strategy that I teach in the course. So check it out if you're interested. All right, so moving on, Netflix. Okay, so we're looking here at an hourly chart. And yesterday I talked about Netflix being in the buy area right there at key support. Okay, so we, again, we were watching this trend line here. Um, and it's not just about following trend, it's about using the momentum indicators to give us an idea when the trend's likely gonna reverse. All right, so we've seen that reversal now, all right? We had a downtrend line in Netflix, we had a downtrend in Netflix, we've now started an uptrend. How long does it go for? Well, nobody really knows, but we do have a good profit target here at gap entry, 245.50. All right, there's a big old gap right there. That's a clean target. And you know, there is the potential to gap fill. I don't think we're gonna get the gap fill. And there's also a downtrend line coming off, not a solid downtrend line, because we only have one, two reactions, but the potential for a downtrend uh, right in that area. All right, so as you can see, recently Netflix has uh, resistance here at 204.50 on the hourly chart. You can see we tagged it once, twice, three times, rejected three times, and look what's going on today, all right? So yesterday, if you bought it support, and now we're rallying into resistance, starting to break out above it. So we'll see if this can hold, but definitely looking like it's about to break out. If we enter the gap, and, well, sorry, it's not really a gap, but breaking this resistance here, if we can hold this and start to break, then it should be a pretty quick move because there's not much trading going on in this area. Should be a pretty quick move right up to this gap entry at 245.50-ish level, okay? So that's what I got on that one. And it's working out nicely. Even if you took it yesterday right there at support, it is up about 5% in, you know, in one day. So congratulations if you took that Roku. <clears throat> All right, so here's Roku. I harped on this one for a while. Daily chart has a a bullish falling wedge pattern. We have bullish divergence on both momentum indicators. I talked about looking for that breakout above this resistance line and we were just kind of consolidating for the last week or so. Clear and obvious breakout today. This thing's up 11%. So it gapped up right to kind of a near resistance, 97.67 and that, and it basically, ba you know, moved higher. So that's support now, 97.67 and we continuing to move higher. So. I don't see much in the way of Roku in terms of resistance till all the way up here at 138.80, all right? Um, so that's all I have on Roku, but so far up 11, almost 12%. So looking good. PayPal's starting to break out. It has kind of the same pattern as Roku. It's got this bullish falling wedge pattern. Really the top of the wedge is this trend line right here. You can see on the daily chart here, we're starting to break out, but it's just not that impulsive. So I don't really like it that much, not yet at least. Um, looking at the hourly chart, this is what the price action looks like. If we can continue higher today, um, and if I see you know if I see much more upside, then it will you know we're going to call this a breakout uh, and a buy signal. All right. Uh, and so it's really close. You know, by the time you get this video out, or I get this video out, it might be pretty obvious, but uh, just want to point that out. Possible breakout coming on, on PayPal. We've got some resistance right here at 93.34. You can see that that was former support through here. Then it was resistance. So that's likely where, if we're going to break out, likely where it would stop short today. But uh, um, that would still be considered a breakout. So want to point that out. Okay, ZG Zillow Group. Um, again, on the daily chart here, we have a downtrend line to watch. We've got lots of reactions on this one. One, two, three, you know, a big cluster right through here. There's another, and the last couple days we've been held, held down there. And today, breakout, all right? It's up 3%, so as long as it can hold, this is a breakout, all right? And a buy signal. It's a buy signal because, for one, we have a downtrend line to watch that we are breaking above. 
two, we've got bullish divergence right there. Ideally, you want to see a nice impulsive breakout and you want to see volume flowing in. So definitely want to keep an eye on the volume. I don't see a ton of volume yet today. So definitely could be a fake out, but I don't know. With everything else kind of starting to look like it's breaking higher, some of these these momentum stocks, this one could be the real deal. So I have taken a position long and it's already profitable because there's momentum here. So typically, you know, when you're buying on these breakouts, there's going to be momentum usually. So I like it. You've got some resistance right here at 44.77. So if we're going to continue higher, we'll probably end the day right around there. Maybe get a pullback uh, there uh, and then continue higher over the near term. Okay. So that's what I got on that one. Here's another one. I haven't been talking about this, but I, it's been on my radar. I just <clears throat> um, haven't been covering it as a trade idea. But BABA um, didn't really have negative divergence uh, or bullish divergence, really. Um, we, we, we made, we've made we been kind of walking higher. So higher lows, higher, you know, higher lows all through here, kind of moving up. And the momentum's been moving up as well. So no real negative divergence. But we have a downtrend line, clean downtrend line to watch. One, two, three, lots of reactions right there. And <clears throat> had the breakout yesterday and today gapping up over resistance and, you know, continuing to break out. So probably run up to the 200 day and fail. I, I suspect we fail up there around the 200. So this one's probably, you know, run about half its course already. But just want to kind of point it out as it pertains to the strategy that I'm teaching. Okay, let's look at some short ideas. So Zen talked about this one as a short trade. Okay, so if you go to the daily chart, again, I've just kind of covered the same thing over and over, but it's really about laying laying out the setup. You know, that's what this channel is all about. I give you guys trade setups and te taught, you know, teach technical analysis. So the trade setup was there, laid out well in advance on this channel. Drop me a thumbs up, guys, if you're finding value because this thing's down 7% today at the lows. It was down almost 11%. Um, so if you took the trade, I know you're making money because I'm making money on it. But again, here's your daily chart. Uh, support, support. There's support right there. Okay, we got zooming in kind of to the most recent price action. We got the sell signal. It really came here on May 24th. All right, this candle right there, that breakdown candle. That was when you broke the trend, all right? We had negative divergence right there. So everything was set up for us to move lower. Okay, we got the sell signal, one back test and down. She's She's been just selling off every single day since. It Today, it became obvious to, to the masses because we got halted today. So if I look at the hourly chart, here we are in the hourly. Um, <clears throat> And the, it's kind of hard to see, but the candle, we were all the way down here when we got halted. And I covered my short trade just for kind of a day trade, but covered it right there uh, after the halt because it got halted. I watched it, sold off a little bit more and then started to recover. So, but, you know, so that was very profitable, um, you know. And if you took the short trade like I did, if you took it right here on the sell signal, then basically... Um, you are pro even if you waited to the end of the day, you were profitable by about 12, 13 percent. And then we had some, we had a support line here at 91. They tried to hold it, it failed. So if you took the, you know, the breakdown at that point, you know, you'd be profitable by about 15 percent at the lows today. So very profitable trade. This thing's down about seven percent. I suspect it will just continue to sell off. Could bounce here a little bit, but I suspect you know should continue to trade lower over the near term uh, any this is sell the rip now so any bounces into resistance if you get a bounce up to 91 that should be uh, that's a shorting op right there that's objective to short right there otherwise we'll continue down to the next support that i don't see until about 73. <clears throat> um, yeah and then my ultimate target for this thing my is right around here probably even lower but near term target about 51 about 51 that looks good for the target you can see that was kind of former support all through there, you know, some support and resistance support. It's just a nice clean defined level. So that's what I'm looking for. Okay, triple Q's since I haven't really covered that in this morning's video, just a lot of chop guys in this week. All right, so very choppy. I haven't really been covering it too much because there's really not a whole lot to cover. It's just grinding around, chopping around. Um, I still think we're going to run up to 218 and, you know, 
um, or sorry, 318 right up here. I don't see much else telling me that we can't do that. I mean, especially with this chop, it's just going to take a one day pop and we'll run up and hit that target. So kind of hard to hold out for it because, you know, of the chop, you've just been getting whipped around. So you kind of have to just sit tight. And I've lightened up my some of my short positions because we are relatively close to that target 318. And we've it's been very profitable trading this thing in this bear market rally. Um, I think there's some more upside, but there's no point in holding out for the every last penny with a full position. So I think it makes sense to take profit. And that's what I've done a little bit. So still looking for 318 though. <clears throat> All right, GME, I'm gonna probably get ready for another short here on this one. Um, well, here's what I wanna point out on GME. Okay, here's your all time highs in GME or the recent highs or whatever. Um, <clears throat> back Going back to 2021. And you've got a downtrend line to watch, all right? Resistance, resistance, resistance. We're still in a downtrend. Doesn't seem like it, but this is definitely a downtrend. You can see we're making lower lows, all right? And um, we've rallied up to the 200 day and the downtrend line's just right there at 163. So just a little bit more to go for that downtrend line, but we're at the 200. Uh, so probably makes sense, at least from my perspective to start to start um, taking a position short on this for the next leg lower. Uh, my target is still this 38 area and you know anywhere from about 45 to 38, somewhere right in there is the next level. Uh, I think we're heading down. So this one, you gotta give this one a little bit of room. Uh, you can't just have a tight stop, you'll get stopped out. They, they run this thing in one day 15% back and forth. So definitely have to give it a little bit of room but it does make sense from my perspective to you know we're starting to trade into resistance and we should get rejected here shortly so i'll probably start start a entry position short on gme uh and we'll just keep an eye on it okay that's all i have for this morning so guys before you leave please drop me a thumbs up leave a comment below if there's something you want me to look at i do do a live stream on saturday mornings but if there's something you'd like me to maybe include in one of the weekly videos, leave a comment below and I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye.